Hey, this is Jason Bachman with Convoy of Hope, and I'm here to take you on a little virtual tour of the Santa Ana Convoy. Uh, right now we're standing in the shoe tent, and on Saturday, which at this time tomorrow, uh, we'll be giving away children's shoes, uh, we'll be having opportunities for kids to come in and get brand new shoes. This shoe tent area is part of the kids zone, which is, we can see throughout here, uh, this kids zone is going to be a place for families to come together, uh, opportunities for families just to come in play some games, kids get a chance to play some games, um, we've got some ministry areas going on, a lot of presentations and so forth. So it's just going to be, this spot right here is going to be time for families to come together, play together. Um, so if they haven't been able to do that very often lately, whether it's their finances or whatever, they'll, be, they'll have a chance to do that uh, on that day. And so we're going to keep walking over here. Every kids zone that we have uh, has various components to it. Sometimes they have inflatables, sometimes they have games, sometimes they have dunk tanks, petting zoos, uh, mobile little locomotives, so it varies. But it looks like we're at a pie walk here or something like that. I'm not sure what that is for certain, but uh, I mean, we'll probably find out on Saturday what, uh, what prizes they get. Uh, some of these inflatables are gonna be blown up and uh, Given a chance for kids to jump around and have a good time. We made sure that the sprinklers were off on this field because even though it might be fun for the kids, uh, moms and dads might not like uh, getting uh, getting sprinklers surprise on the, on uh, Saturday. So we made sure we took care of that as well. We're coming up close to the edge of the kids zone and, and over where you're seeing the cars, that's going to be where people are going to enter the outreach on Saturday morning. It's not uncommon to have a couple hundred, even a thousand people in line just waiting to get into the sites because of the great need that they're facing. So when they come in, this is going to be one of those areas, the kids zone and the shoes, where they can experience hope and they can experience opportunities to, uh, to receive some tangible help. But they're also going to get a chance if they take a left and go right into the, into the field they'll get a chance to, uh, to uh, we have Plum Organics that's coming with some, uh, some baby food and some smoothies, things like that, that uh, are for kids six months and older. They'll get a chance to have some nutritional uh, information distributed as well, as well as taking home some smoothies so that they can have uh, a nice little nutritious snack to help increase their health as well. So we'll walk this way, over here. A lot of these outreaches take quite a bit of time to set up. Um, the record so far for me, last week we had an outreach in Omaha, Nebraska, and we weren't able to get onto the site until Friday evening at 11 p.m. So needless to say, that arrangements team did a great job putting stuff together. But all of what you see here, it usually takes a good two days to put together. As we cross the street over here, we're going to enter close to what the portraits tent is going to be. This little white tent on the other side of the plum tent is where uh, we're going to have opportunities for families to get their pictures taken. Um, they're going to get them free, free portraits, I believe 4x6. And they're also going to have an option to, uh, to go online to a site that they'll be able to uh, even download it, send it over to their family, to their friends. So not only they'll get something to take with them, but they're going to take that link and they're going to send it out to whoever, whoever they have, friends and family that they want to have that given to them. They might even be able to use it for a Christmas card. You just never know. So that's one of, been one of our, I'd say, it's been a very popular one. We'll see a pretty big line here on Saturday for that. Uh, just because it's one of those things that when you're in a budget crunch, you're not thinking about taking pictures. You're thinking about how do I feed my family and how do I, how do I take care of my kids and the school supplies and the shoes and stuff. So if we can help offer this, then you know it's a great thing for that. Straight ahead is going to be our food services area. We've got a multitude of food that's going to be coming, that's going to be donated. Uh, tremendous, just a nice little touch for people to get a lunch on that day. Where they can get, uh, it's either hot dogs, they can get chili, I think we're partnering with Chick-fil-A as well. So they get to get some lunch, and as they eat, then they'll be able to listen to some of the site entertainment, which will be broadcast pretty much throughout this whole area. We're walking into kind of the main, the main, uh, I guess the 
fairway, the whole spot of where the where the outreach is going to be happening. And the stage will be there. We'll have sight entertainment. We'll have music, stuff like that. Over here, with the tents that uh, we have the pink on it, that's one of our national partners, National Breast Cancer Foundation. And they're able to partner with us at selected sites. They were able to come here to Santa Ana. One of their purposes is to empower and mobilize women for self-help uh, with uh, uh, breast exams. Basically, knowing what to do and knowing how to understand ways to diagnose different ways of you know if they have breast cancer or so forth and one of their main things is that they want to empower single moms because these single moms might be the pillars of their family and uh, if kids are already at risk by living in poverty or, or, or so forth you just imagine if the mom was out of the picture that if they she had breast cancer and wasn't able to treat it wasn't even able to diagnose it or at an early at an early stage and get help You'd have even kids that are in, in more dire straits as well. So that's what NBCF, that's one of their main missions, is to provide this early detection, and we're just on honor to have them with us. And then right next to NBCF is, um, you see these circles of chairs. We're going to have uh, some health services and some medical services that are going to be present. They're going to be providing uh, various, various things. It might be education. It might be some type of screenings. Um, but they'll, they'll be here, and uh, they're already doing work in the community, and so they'll be here as well. Alongside of them is the community services, and that's that tent with the sides and the open front. Community services basically is just another way of connecting people with existing resources in the community. If people can be con connected to things that are already happening, to agencies that are already doing a good work, you know, when this day is done, they still have a connection. So you're not just just limiting it to a day of help but if you can connect people to what's going on and other people who care then you have these stepping stones where you're helping build a you know a chain reaction of hope in a sense and people who can experience a next step level and a next step level uh, so that's one of those areas and in that community services tent we had one person say you know sometimes people can accomplish more in one hour than they can in one month because all those community agencies are right there they don't have to worry about traveling halfway across town or two miles this way or five miles this way if we got the community agencies there they can uh, be served right at that moment as well so that's one of those nice things that I like to see communities come together and agencies come together and so forth and along with that you can see they got some mobile units uh, occasionally in some of our outreaches we have mobile units that come out sometimes it's job fair stuff sometimes it's health issues sometimes it's it's anything else that might be a need and and might be available and so uh, that's a nice thing to have and as we're kind of getting closer to the edge of the end of the tent or I should say the outreach this area here in the corner you can see the convoy of hope truck but that's going to be where the groceries are going to be bagged and then further behind that is that's where they're going to be distributed and prior to that all those chairs and tables that are set up we're going to have prayer spots so that people want to receive prayer they're going to have a spot that they can pray in i think they're going to probably put it closer to the tr trees it's a little more shade that way um nice little touch of being able to get people comfortable and stuff so that's the really the one of the reasons for us as convoy of hope is why we do what we do because we want to see people's lives being transformed from the inward to the outward and if we can help them with some tangible help on the day of um, and cap it off with a possibility of prayer and possibility of inward transformation then uh, we know that we've done a, a good work